Hi everyone, Happy New Year. This is an intro video to tell you a little bit more about myself and also the motivations for starting this channel. To be honest, I'm not really where I hope to be at the end of 2023. It was a hard year. The number one lesson that I learned amidst all this hardship is that when things are going well, it's okay to focus 100% on work, but when things aren't going well, they didn't go well this year, it actually becomes really important to have a life outside of work. And so that's a big motivation for starting this channel. So let me rewind and explain. For the past four years, things have gone extremely well for me professionally. Once I finished my PhD at MIT, I started an AI consulting agency, grew it to about $3 million in revenue pretty quickly and hired a team of 10 mostly ML PhDs, really brilliant team, amazing people. We worked with a lot of the top tech companies in the world. Everyone wanted to work with us because we're so good at what we did. At some point, we developed some technology in-house at the consulting agency, and I decided to go spin that out into a second company. We raised a really good seed round from top VCs, uh, closed on really good enterprise customers. And I ran that company full time. So VC backed uh, AI product company. And, but I still owned the bootstrapped company, um, the AI agency, and had promoted a new CEO to run that full time. And so for the past four years building these two companies, my life has been 100% work. Everything I looked at from the lens of what would make me most productive. 100% work, Monday to Friday, I would take Saturdays off and I took vacations, but it was completely optimized for what would make me maximally productive and um, have me be at my peak performance. And that's because all the evidence I had was that the more I put into my businesses, the more I got out. And I realized that, you know, this is okay when things are going well as they have been for many years now. But when things aren't going well, that strategy doesn't work so well anymore. So things did not go well in 2023, but I still kept that same single-minded focus on work. I thought that I could dig myself out of the challenges and the hardships by just pushing harder. I put my head down, I went into a cocoon, but this time the more I was putting into my businesses did not correlate with getting more out. And I realized that, you know, speed is not the same thing as moving in the right direction. And that just putting my heads down and grinding harder could actually turn out to be counterproductive. I've always had a bit of this trifecta in my life. My main thing has always been engineering, but I also dance and play music. And from age five, through my PhD, I always did all three of these things. So when one part of my life was not going well, I could turn focus on another one of my passions. But I realized at the end of this year, at a particularly low point, that I didn't have anything else to turn to. My life was just mono focus on work. I had ignored my friends all year. I hadn't danced in years. I hadn't picked up an instrument even in even more years. And, um, you know, I realized maybe I should change this. Maybe actually going back to some of these other passions might help me get unstuck on the engineering side. And so I went to my first studio ballet class in five years. I made flower arrangements and I realized that these things were making me feel a little bit more like myself. And part of what makes me feel like me is creation. I love making things. I love being able to create something and then say, hey, look, look at what I made. And so this vlog is part of that effort to spend more time on creation. My startup has gotten into YC. For those of you who don't know, YC or Y Combinator is one of, if not the top startup accelerator in the world. And so we're gonna be part of the winter 2024 batch that's starting soon in January. And so what I wanna do on this channel is share those experiences, um, share what it's like to go through YC and to build an AI startup in Silicon Valley in 2024. I hope you follow along 
and let me know what questions you have or what you're interested in seeing. And hopefully I can give you a glimpse into some of those things. And P.S. if you're one of the friends that I've ignored all year, I'm really, really sorry about that. Here's to a 2024 of a lot more creation.